coming to clinical evaluation as already i told you dear friends mostly this is a type of muscle testing the first muscle because medial half is supplied by your ulnar nerve is flexor digitorum profundus make the patient look at this animation will explain you very clearly this is normal side makes the patient ask the patient to put his dorsum of the hand over a table you just give resistance over the proximal interphalangeal joint of your middle finger ask him to flex only the terminal phalanx of the middle finger like this normally he will be able to flex like this there is no doubt if there is affection of the ulnar nerve you see he is not able to flex fully so this is the classical testing first testing for flexor digitorum profundus second thing you have to test for flexor corpi ulnaris ask the patient you just hold the patient like this ask him to ulnar deviate his hand like this normally you should be able to deviate it ulnar in towards the ulnar side if there is ulnar nerve palsy patient can't do that this is to test the flexor corpi ulnaris third thing is test for abductor digiti minimi ask the patient to place over a table dorsum of the hand like this give resistant to the little finger ask the patient to abduct the little finger against resistant like this if the patient is having an ulnar nerve palsy patient can't abduct the little finger then comes your palmar intraosseous test for palmar intraosseous this is called cord test palmar intraosseous you know the action of palmar intraosseous is adduction that is why the mnemonic in anatomy palmar intraosseous is adduction pad is the mnemonic palmar intraosseous adduction dorsal intraosseous abduction that's why the mnemonic for that is dab so this is pad okay so whenever i am giving a cord like this i am able to adduct the i am able to adduct the fingers well when you pull no you can't that easily pull the cord because adduction is possible by your palmar intraosseous if the patient is having an ulnar nerve palsy since the palmar intraosseous can't do the adduction whenever you just put a, a cord like this easily you can remove the cord this is called a cord test this is called a cord test then for the dorsal intraosseous the test is called igawa test i said dorsal intraosseous will do abduction will do the abduction that's called igawa igawa test dorsal intraosseous is abduction dab is the mnemonic okay you see norm you ask the patient to put his palm over a table ask him to move the middle finger ask him to abduct the middle finger like this so the middle finger easily will go and touch the index finger and the little finger normally it is possible if there is an ulnar nerve injury patient cannot move so this is called igawa test this is called the for dorsal intraosseous igawa test easily explainable you see you see both easily you can see the difference okay so it is igawa test then comes froman sign from and sign is called book test this is to test the adductor pollicis this is to test the adductor pollicis adductor pollicis okay so this is to test the adductor adductor pollicis see you look at this i will stand this side you concentrate that side see when a book is when you ask the patient to catch a book between your thumb and the index finger you try to pull the book you try to pull the book when adductor pollicis which is supplied by your ulnar nerve is intact when you try to pull you can't pull the book because adduction of the thumb is possible it's possible when ulnar nerve is damaged adductor pollicis becomes weak to compensate that your flexor pollicis which is supplied by median nerve will act you look at this finger this finger is very straight is extended only he, she is catching the book in between her thumb and the index finger and it's adducting the thumb so it's very tight here if there is weakness of adductor pollicis because of ulnar nerve injury your flexor pollicis will replace will try to catch the book so there will be hyperflexion of the interphalangeal joints you look at this arrow this rose color arrow which shows flexion hyperflexion of the interphalangeal joint try to catch the book because that action is not by adductor pollicis that is by flexor pollicis flexor pollicis is supplied by median nerve 
okay so this test is called froman's sign otherwise called book test froman's test otherwise called book test which will test the adductor policies